right, check this out. After about 400 trial and error sessions and revising things because I just wasn't happy with them, I think I finally landed on a configuration I am happy with. Basically, we needed a way to steer this Power Wheels and we've gone through so many iterations here. I mean, we started off with power window motors modified into smart servos and we've tried linear actuators oh boy have we tried linear actuators feedback uh feedback coupled tall uh yeah feedback coupled linear actuation with positional feedback yeah and then we even got some, uh, I guess, wheelchair ones. They're also slow. It's like nothing, either it's not torquey enough or it's too slow to be like usable. So here it is. This is the, this is the final implementation. This is what I came up with. It was reasonably cost affordable too. Cost reasonable. Cause this doesn't rely on any type of feedback and is highly reliable. So what it is here, we've got two two-inch stroke linear actuators that are um, classified as high speed. Now from what I've been finding out from uh, getting these things and reading about a million different posts all over the internet on different vendors selling these things, is that high speed is very um, d it's not anything that's anything that you can uh, shake a stick at whatever anyway so okay long short long story short here you need to get one that's at least I don't know at least 30 millimeters per second this one's 50, which is great, but from what I found, anything less than 30 millimeters per second is just, it's going to feel way too slow. And then the other thing that's going on here is, obviously you have two two inch ones strapped back to back, but what, what I have done is one, in the steady state, one rests retracted and one rests uh, extended. So in this configuration, this represents uh, the center position of the wheels steering. Uh, so as you can see, also I've mounted a uh, L brackets, flat L brackets uh, that were cut perfectly to length to um, give you the uh, the angles that you need for the uh, the leverage to push the uh, the uh, steerage uh, steer steering linkage. So. Anyway, when these two are in this configuration, it's at the center position. So let's uh, go ahead and see what happens here. We've got our transmitter ready to go, and we'll throw on some power. And now we can watch what goes on. So when the throttle, or sorry, when the joystick is in the center position, like I said, it puts the actuators back into their steady state positions, which is one extended and one um, retracted. And what's happening is when this axis exceeds a certain point, what's actually happening is I'm triggering some switches, in this case relays two of them actually. Oh, where is it? Oh, here. Can we see that? Yep. So this is basically four, four relays uh, coupled together to really uh, only make two relays, two relay channels. Uh, but they're coupled together to give me a double pull, double throw, a DPD, uh, DT, 
DP configuration of the relays so that way I could do reversing and then these are connected to uh, the uh, patent pending Krill Labs uh, servo to relay uh, converter which then cl uh, plugs into the um, receiver which is then getting powered in the standard way um, but doing that seems to be providing a pretty tried and true way to steer this sucker so I think we're gonna go with this we're gonna give this some tries and uh, if this works out I may uh, continue down this path and do some more revisions and try to refine it into something more polished but I think this is gonna be where we're heading so just wanted to show this and uh, give some updates some progress updates all right peace y'all